In this video, I'm going to show you the top five unofficial uses that I have for my Steam Deck. Let's go ahead and get started. So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna actually record in docked mode. So let's jump over to that. All right, so here we are in docked mode and you can see that I have a, a smattering of different platforms in my non steam section here. And so obviously number one in my unofficial uses of the steam deck is emulation with emu deck. And a lot of you have probably already heard of that, but definitely got to point it out. So uh, for instance, we could open up something like uh, earthworm gym. Let's see here. And there it goes. Do a little Sega Genesis platform. There we go. And you know, things like this work pretty good. I'm using just an Xbox controller here. Nice. Controls are pretty decent. Although, Earthworm Jim has a few different kinds of controls that complicate things, as you've got your melee there, your gun, and your jump. There you go, works pretty well. Nice. So yeah, just a basic little demonstration there. So personally, I've dumped like my own ROMs off of cartridges. And so I've got some SNES, some N64, some Genesis. I'm having a little trouble getting PlayStation 1 working with uh, Skull Monkeys, but uh, eventually I, I, think I, I think I would need to dump uh, a BIOS for that to work, but that's not currently available to me legally. So I haven't done that yet, but uh, yeah, there you go. There's some basic emulation, uh, but then we're gonna move on to number two and that is going to be ZDL. So let's take a look at what that is. This basically allows us to select WAD files from different Doom games or games that use that original engine like Heretic and Hexen. So yeah, I will at least get into the menu here and show you around. But yeah, there you go. There's your Doom 2. And so in this instance, I have uh, Chilo's voxels loaded up and I have some uh, HD music and sound effects and things like that. So obviously the original versions of those are available on Steam, but uh, this is just another level at which you might wanna do this, where you can do different mods and do it with different forms of id software content or games that have used those original engines with uh, GZ Doom and things like that. All right, so up next, I will show you Wolfenstein 3D, and this will be Wolfenstein 3D with the EC Wolf source port. Now, again, Wolfenstein 3D, I think it is a game that you might be able to find on um, Steam or at least uh, GOG. With EC Wolf, um, it's not just, you know, like a DOS box emulation of Wolfenstein 3D. This is a, a new source port that allows for modern controls. Uh, a lot better than uh, it would normally work. So the next thing I will show you is Minecraft Java Edition. This I was very excited to get working. So from what I can tell, there's multiple ways to do this, but the nice thing about it is that you can put uh, different mods into your Minecraft instance. And so we'll go ahead and launch the game and I'll show you a little bit of what I have set up at least for the Steam Deck. All right, so as you can see, it's working nicely. We can go ahead and launch my server here. You can get a bit of a look. And particularly in handheld mode, I will say the, the graphics look great and the control scheme that you can find in the uh, community control layouts uh, actually works very, very well. Let's take a little bit of a look outside. So yeah, I'm actually, I've been able to get, uh, ooh, look at that. Nice uh, thing to capture for the video there. We have a rainbow, but I'm actually using uh, complementary shaders and they work very well. Complementary shaders were actually just recently updated and uh, looks like they're working great. They look a lot better than they used to. But there you have it. There is Minecraft Java Edition with mods running on the Steam Deck, on the Steam Deck in docked mode. And then the final thing that I will point out so far that I have been able to get working is my Xbox with remote play. So I'll give you a little peek at how well that works. And obviously, you know, you can do this like on a laptop or on a phone even. Obviously, I'm in docked mode in front of my TV, so I could technically be just turning on my Xbox to play, but this is something that I could do basically in 
any part of the apartment, really. Like if I have to be out in the living room doing something or uh, can't really be in my office, then I can go out and actually use my Xbox, as you can see, over Wi-Fi uh, with the Steam Deck. And it works really nice. So we can open up a game that uh, really probably would not work well on uh, a Steam Deck. Uh, in fact, this game has had some trouble on its uh, intended hardware, but we can actually play Jedi Survivor. So I'll give you a little peek at that. And if you're playing over Wi-Fi, the responsiveness is actually uh, very good, I would say. Yeah, there you have it. We're playing a full-blown AAA state-of-the-art graphics game here, right on the Steam Deck. And uh, in docked mode, it really does not increase the graphical demand, obviously, because we're just streaming. Very nice. Whoa! Yep, so I'm playing, again, with my Xbox controller. Uh, in uh, playing connected over Wi-Fi in the same on the same network uh, with the Xbox, um, honestly, the latency is almost non-existent. It works really well. Now, uh, the thing about the app that I'm using here is that technically it is supposed to also be able to work over cellular data. I've had some luck with that. It took me a while to get it working. It worked for a little while, then it stopped working. So that I have not perfected yet, but uh, technically that is possible. Uh, and then for the instance that I did get it working, uh, there is going to be a little bit more latency, um, at least so far. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on that perhaps, but you can find tutorials for this online. Alrighty, so there you have it. There are five unofficial uses that I have been uh, getting working on my Steam Deck. There we had uh, basically your general emulation, which a lot of people already know about. I've got ZDL working for Doom mods. I've got Wolfenstein 3D, Minecraft Java Edition, and Xbox Remote Play. So uh, make sure you comment below if you've learned anything new here, if you found any of these helpful, or if you've uh, managed to get some of these things working yourself. And let me know also uh, what other unofficial uses that you have been using with your Steam Deck. And thanks for watching. Again, this is Crossplay Gaming. My name's Eric, and we'll see you around in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.